hello guys over here i have the google tv streamer 4k and in this video i'm going to guide you on how to connect your google tv streamer 4k to wi-fi or hotspot network without the remote control so if you misplace your remote control and you want to still be able to connect your google tv streamer 4k to wi-fi without navigating through the interface using your remote control there are basically two ways you can go about doing that the first and the simplest method is a simple trick of changing your current wi-fi name and password to the previous wi-fi name and password that your google tv streamer 4k has been connected to before and automatically your google tv streamer 4 Okay, will connect to your new Wi-Fi or hotspot network thinking that it is the previous one. Obviously, for this to work, your Google TV streamer 4K must have been connected to a Wi-Fi or hotspot network before. And let's take for instance, if I want to connect my Google TV streamer 4K over here to my phone's hotspot, I currently do not have the remote control. But what I can do is to change my Wi-Fi or my hotspot password and name to the exact Wi-Fi name or hotspot name of a previous Wi-Fi that the Google TV streamer device has been connected to. So you want to go over to the settings of your Wi-Fi or your hotspot if you're connecting to a mobile device. And then you just want to come over to the portable hotspot settings or the personal hotspot settings or the Wi-Fi settings if you're connecting to a Wi-Fi. And then make sure that your Wi-Fi is actually turned on first and foremost. Then go over to the settings that allow you to change your Wi-Fi name and password. Mine over here is the set portable hotspot. And then here you're going to see your Wi-Fi name and then your Wi-Fi password. So what you want to do now is to change this exact Wi-Fi name and password to the exact Wi-Fi name and password of the previous Wi-Fi that this device has connected to. For iPhones, your Wi-Fi name or SSID is actually the name of your phone. So just change the name of the phone. Once you're done, you want to click on the check button at the top over here to save your changes and then make sure that your portable hotspot is actually turned on or your Wi-Fi is actually turned on. Now at this point, you just want to give your Google TV streamer 4K device some few seconds and it should automatically connect to this new Wi-Fi without you doing anything. You just want to give it some few seconds and it will do that by itself. If it does not connect in about three to five minutes, you want to just go ahead and turn off your Google TV streamer device and then turn it on. You can just unplug it from the wall socket and then plug it back. Okay, so I have just turned off and turned on my Google TV streamer device. You want to give it some few seconds now. And just like so, you can see the pop up at the top indicating that it has now successfully connected. Now, another way you can still connect your Google TV streamer 4K to Wi-Fi or hotspot network without the remote control is to simply use the remote control of your actual TV. So over here, I'm using an LG TV and this is my LG TV remote control. And usually by default, HDMI CEC, which allows you to be able to control other HDMI devices using your TV's remote control should be turned on. So what you just want to do is to navigate through the Google TV streamer 4K using your remote control. And then you just want to head over to the Wi-Fi settings over here, select it, and then make sure you connect to your Wi-Fi or your hotspot network. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel, guys.